Hey there, race fans. It's NASCAR know it here with your Daytona race recap. What a wild night it was last night. And Penske gets their 100th win. Brad Keselowski, welcome to Daytona Victory Lane as he scores a win in the Coke Zero 400 powered by Coca-Cola in a wild race last night as he beat Kyle Busch. Trevor Bain, the 2011 Daytona 500 champ, our 2015 Daytona 500 winner Joey Logano, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Brad Keselowski, he was the dominant car of the race. He led almost half the race. I mean, nobody could really pass him other than Kyle Busch, but Brad had a better car. Apparently, the Fords have caught up to the Toyotas in the restrictor play program, and Chevrolet is still a little off, but we're trying. We'll uh, see what we do at Talladega. Uh, Chase Elliott finished 32nd last night after we ran up front but then got caught up in the big wreck. But we did get back out there and finish the race. Um, you know, he said he had a fast car, could have had a chance to win, but we'll, uh, we'll go to Talladega. We'll go to Kentucky. We'll uh, go to Talladega um, in the fall. But next week we'll go to Kentucky and uh, still close on that first win. I'm feeling confident that he's getting closer. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., uh, better result. As far as the restriction plays this year, but not good enough. He was involved in the big one, um, and he finished 21st on the lead lap, and not a good night for Junior. He won. He didn't lead a single lap. I'm really, really surprised. Uh, and if you're wondering, folks, how the big one happened, when it happened, who caused it, and all that, well, Jimmy Johnson and Jamie McMurray, it's tough to tell, but I blame Jimmy Johnson. He came up while McMurray was coming down, and that caused McMurray to slide into Larson, and then... Off they went, collecting a lot of good race cars, including Casey Kane, who's trying to get himself into the chase. Because now we're winding down to the end of the regular season, folks. So your driver, if you're on the outside looking in, you need to start scoring a win or pick up as much points as you can. Because the more guys that are already locked in the chase that keep winning, it's going to ruin your chances of making the chase. I don't think we're going to have 16 winners total in the chase, but you never know. I mean, Kentucky's a wild card. Uh, Pocono's a wild card. Indianapolis, Watkins Glen, Bristol, heck, even Darlington. Any, any of these races could try to get yourself in the chase. So for people like Casey Kane, Blaney, Bain, Biffle, Stenhouse, Menard, Almirola, Danica, Clint Boyer, uh, David Reagan, Brian Scott, all those guys, those guys, they need to start getting the victory circle. Oh, and also AJ Allmendinger. And of course, we all know Watkins Glen is going to be his strong suit. But um, Tony Stewart and his last race at Daytona uh, so close he was laying in the back most of the race which is typical Tony Stewart at the restrictor place since he formed his team in 2009 he started doing that in 2013 technically um he ran towards the back thank god his highest fifth towards the end then his car got loose and hit the wall and that's unfortunately that's not how you want to go out in your last race at Daytona but on the bright side because Brian Scott, who was ahead of him in the top 30 in points, wrecked, and Tony finished ahead of him. Right now, for all you Tony Stewart fans, he is 30th. And if the chase started, he would be in. But that's nine races from now. So he needs to start maybe clicking off some more top five, sub tens. But I see Smoke's confidence is rising like crazy. It's it's just it's awesome to see him performing at his uh, top game. Um, some good finishes in the top 10 included um, uh, Greg Biffle, a pole sitter. Even though he was in the wreck, he was still able to fix the car and get back up there because you know the drive to Daytona it's a great equalizer for a lot of teams Clint Boyer got a top 10 that's his third of the season second on the restrictor plates and then Michael McDowell for Levine Family Racing with Circle Sport that's a pretty impressive run but you know McDowell typically runs well on the restrictor plate tracks and Cole Witt finished 11th for the team that missed the Daytona 500 in February um and a lot of the notables were involved in that wreck like Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick, Danica Patrick uh, Jamie McMurray, as I mentioned, Paul Menard, Chris Buescher, Matthew Benedetto. A lot of good race cars were torn up, but, you know, that's that's the product of research play racing. You run in tight packs, you make one mistake, and boom, the next thing you know, 16, 20 cars involved. I mean, it's tough, but I want to say congrats to Brad Keselowski. Hope you all have a very awesome 4th of July tomorrow, and America is the best country in the world so don't forget to hit the subscribe button put a good your eagle like on this video if you enjoyed it uh, i'm sorry if i didn't do uh you know flashback friday for uh this recent weekend i was out but um i promise you this uh, coming friday i will try to upload the best i can got a couple of some juicy flashbacks to show you guys i'm um, probably going to do it on the history of kentucky as we're coming up on it this weekend so um 
Can't wait to see how drivers run the repave surface. So, have a happy 4th of July, America. I salute you. Good night.